Good morning. Welcome to part three of the Pac-Man training. So uh, today we're going to cover how to make our little Pac-Man guy gobble up all these little points around the board. We're going to make him move. We're going to do more motion graphics. He's going to be going from here to here and then down to here and rotating and boom, blah. So, uh, look forward to listening to me. Last episode, we uh, learned how to make him open up and close his mouth. And this episode, we're just going to learn how to make him move all around that board. So uh, let's go ahead and select our Pac-Man comp. And we're going to press the letter P. It'll bring up position, which is exactly what we want. And with our current time indicator at the beginning of our comp, we are going to press our position stopwatch. And then we're going to move forward a little bit. Now, as I move forward, I'm going to watch how many times Pac-Man opens his mouth. You see, there's a certain distance that I'm going to have him move every time I see that mouth open and close. And that's how I'm going to base it. You can base it differently. Just kind of depends on how you want it to look. I'm also going to bring our time navigator in a little closer so we can see our timing better. So. He opened and closed his mouth once by this part, so I think I want him to be over here by then. And something that we're going to want to make sure we're doing is turning these into right angles so that we don't get a curved point or lines. We want them to just be right angled everywhere because that's how Pac-Man moves. Now let's watch him open and close again, and close, and now I'm going to have him move down to here. Just so you guys can get an idea of what it is going to be looking like so far. We got that, so we'll just go from there to there. So for this one, from here to here, I'm going to have him open up his mouth twice. So I'm just going to watch him gobble, 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 gobble. Boom. Looks good to me. Get him to about there. And after we've made all these points, we can go back in and like zoom in and rearrange them a little bit to make them really nice and perfect. Keep them really good on track. So, you are able to, you know, fix these points and make them better. From here to here, I'm probably going to have him open his mouth once. And this keeps him moving consistently through the board. So then he's not, you know, zipping through here, then taking forever to get down here, then zipping there, zipping there, zipping there, then taking forever. You know, if you base it off of the amount of times that he's going to open and close his mouth, then you know, you know, about how many points he's going to be eating and all that. If you're trying to get super duper technical. This one I'm probably going to do like a half open. And then by the time he's closed and reopened to that point, I'll have him down to here. So this is how you're going to make him move throughout the board. Um, I'm going to have him follow the same path that he follows in my video. So he'll go through here and all the way around up to here. And I'll loop around and he finishes over here. 
So I will join you once I have keyframed all of that and then we'll cover how to make him rotate so that he's facing the correct direction to eat all those points. So be back with you guys very shortly. Well, shortly for you. Okay, and we are back. So I have finished keyframing my Pac-Man and now he goes all around this board. But the biggest problem is that he is not facing the correct direction when eating. So now we're gonna go through and put on our rotational keyframes. So we'll go to the very beginning and with our Pac-Man layer selected, we'll do Shift R and that'll bring up our rotation values and we'll just go ahead and click on the stopwatch and that'll give us our first rotation keyframe. Then we're going to go to our first position point and that's where Pac-Man turns at. And we'll go ahead and go one frame before and we're going to set another keyframe and then we'll go back on to the actual keyframe and we'll make Pac-Man rotate the direction that he needs to be facing. So this one's going to be 90 degrees so I'm just going to click on that type in 90 and the reason why we have to add in the point just before it is we want Pac-Man to turn on a dime. So we want him to do that rotation right away. If we do not put in that second zero degree keyframe just before the 90, what will happen is Pac-Man will rotate over this period of time. So I'll go ahead and show you what that looks like. I'll go back a keyframe and delete that one. And so now what happens is Pac-Man kind of rotates over that period of time. And we want him to rotate on a dime. So we'll go just one frame before and we'll change that value to zero. Cool, so let's go ahead and go to the next keyframe for the position. We'll go one before, set another keyframe for 90. We go one forward and we'll go back down to zero degrees. Moving right along, go to the next keyframe, this one here, and we'll go one before. Oops. Set our keyframe here. And go one after and rotate him downward. It's going to be going down to 180, I believe. Wait, nope. He is still at 90. And we'll go onward. We can bring in our time navigator just a little bit so we can get on those points exactly. Yeah, so just uh, lots of awesome keyframing going on. And back to 90. So you'll do this for the entire sequence. I'm going to continue onward. I will see you guys in just a little bit. Hopefully we will all have our Pac-Man rotating around this board facing the right direction, gobbling up all those points. All right, see you guys soon. Okay, now you should all have your rotation points set. We can scrub through and check this out. Actually, you know what? Let's just play it through and watch it. Now, you guys might have set yours on a different track, so it might look differently than mine. It might look exactly the same as mine. But um, it should be rotating and eating up all the points. That pretty much completes the episode for today. Stay tuned, because in the next one, we're going to learn how to make all these points go away as... Pac-Man eats them. So look forward to that. Make sure to subscribe on that right hand corner there. That'll help you keep up to date with all our awesome, fun, and new tutorials we're putting out for you. And uh, 
Check out videofort.com, maybe. Uh, maybe you've heard of it. It's got lots of great and awesome stock footage. This has been John with videofort.com wishing you a wonderful day from the bottom of my heart. All right. Later, guys. Thank <laughs> you.